Hi everyone. Before we start, I ask you to write in the comments, how do you like this video? Namely, the voiceover through neural networks. In Russian, the voiceover is not through them, but so far, it's like this. So, in this video, we'll take a look at a utility that automatically turns Windows 8, 10, and 11 into Windows 7. Once transformed, the theme, yeah, the legendary arrow, sounds, icons, and the entire main system interface will look almost exactly the same as it did in Windows 7. You saw the disclaimer before the beginning of the video, not just for fun. It's worth saying right away that it's not known exactly what is downloaded through the script. So execute the command you're about to see on the screen at your own risk, preferably on a virtual machine like I did. At the end of the video, we'll check the system with antivirus, but that still doesn't guarantee complete security. So let's get started. First, let's test how it all looks like on the 10th version of Windows. Press the Windows plus R key combination and in the window that appears, type the command you see on the screen and in the description below the video. Click OK. Then click Yes. And wait for all the necessary files to download. At the beginning, my download speed was quite deplorable, so 14 hours later, The next day, everything was much better and the download was completed in about 20 minutes. Considering that yesterday it took at least six, seven hours, this is already progress. After downloading, an installer appears in front of us where we can choose which theme to install. There's a choice of Windows 7 theme, Vista theme, and the so-called Aero 10 and Aero 8. The last two, as I realized, are not so good. So let's choose the one we came here for. Next, the installation begins, after which a reboot is required. And here we are on the desktop of Windows 10, which at first glance does not differ from Windows 7. Of course, if you look closely, there are some bugs here. Not all window titles will be displayed correctly, some windows have no minimize and maximize buttons. Some many elements of the interface from Windows 10 look a bit strange, but in general, everything is pretty good. The full-fledged arrow theme works in at least all classic applications. The taskbar and start menu have also been transformed. The same context menus have also changed. The sounds from the Windows 7 are also here, as are the icons. Tray, of course, looks a bit strange, as well as a lot of things from the Windows 10 in the wrapper from Windows 7, let's say, but maybe someday it will be finalized. And now, let's check the system with the help of probably the only antivirus that I could download. Of course, this is not an advertisement although I would not refuse a monetary reward for a demonstration of this software. I specifically did both a basic, quick, and full scan, and the antivirus didn't detect anything scary, or rather, it didn't detect anything at all. Again, this does not mean 100% that this utility is completely safe. By the way, this utility does not work as well on Windows 11 as it does on 10. The window borders are a bit crooked, but otherwise everything seems to be fine. So, it works best on Windows 10 and older versions of the system. So, let's summarize the results. In general, the author of this miracle tried his best, considering that, as I understand, he did it all alone. Don't forget that this is the third version. 
Obviously, it's still not very usable on a permanent basis, and I hope no one is going to turn all this for long-term use. All in all, though, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Put likes, subscribe to the channel, and write in the comments. How do you like the first video with the voiceover? Good luck.